Hi, it's Bonner, and uh, today I'm going to give you a very quick short video on uh, how to annotate muted strumming, or what are called ghost notes or ghost heads in MuseScore 4.4. Okay, so here I am on my desktop. I'm going to start up MuseScore, as usual. I have my desktop trimmed a little, so you're not going to see everything happen, but there it is in my, uh, uh, whatever, startup folder. And new score four point and we new score studio is going to start up. I'm going to choose new score. I'm just going over this for those of you who are new to this. And uh, I'm going to choose uh, create from templates, which is over here, solo, guitar and tablature, and then I'm just going to click done. And that's going to put a new tab on my screen. Now, what I wanted to show you here is if I have palettes uh, uh, turned on. On the view menu I can turn off palettes or turn on palettes which is F9 on your keyboard. Um, if I have palettes turned on uh, then I'll show you that. There's palettes turned on and you see I have fretboard diagram palette which is here, a lot of chord diagrams and you can edit all your palettes. You can add fretboard diagrams, nice neat fretboard diagrams for every chord you use and you can save them all on palettes. Um, there's a guitar palette, which has a uh, bar line location, uh, palm mute, uh, whammy bar, vibrato, wide vibrato. Now there's other guitar specific features in uh, arpeggios and glissandos as well, and uh, in other places. I'm doing more videos that will show all of these different functions. Anyway, for today, so how do I get ghost heads or uh, a muted strum, you know, that kind of uh, muted wah-wah kind of strum that uh, uh, Hendrix used all the time and lots of other players use as well. So what we're going to do is I'm going to put some notes on the fretboard uh, on the tablature here. I'm going to click on the eighth note and you'll notice it automatically lights up the uh, uh, note entry mode, which is the pencil. Now I'm going to come down here and I'm going to put some uh, notes on the tab. Eighth notes on the tab. I'm going to start with a seven. Now there you have basically a, a, a primitive form of, uh, of uh, B minor seven, seven notes all the way across the guitar. Now here's what you do to get your ghost heads to indicate that you're going to scratch that. But here's your ghost notes. We turn off notation. Uh, note entry mode. We select a note and it's blue with our selection. It's hard to see. And we're not in note entry mode. We're in, I forget what it's called, edit mode or something. And then you go shift X on the note and you'll see that what happens is you get an X on the tab, but on the staff it shows you the X with the pitch. So that's showing you the location, okay, of where your, of where your muted note is. And sometimes Hendrix did this, where he would mute a couple of notes and play a couple of notes, and other people do as well. So again, just select the note. If I want to scratch all of these, I select the next note and Shift X. And you can see what's happening is these are all getting turned into ghost heads, they're called. Okay, and so now what I have here, this indicates uh, a muted strum, so I've, I've muted the notes, and depending on the particular sound, it may be fully muted or only partially muted, uh, and it's a, it's a scratch strum. So I hope that's helpful. Uh, my name's Bonner. Come on back and learn more about MuseScore and guitar. I'll post some more shorts very soon.